Welcome back. Well, look at this. We're getting a closer look here at the opening of Elevate at the Citrus Park Mall. This is a two story entertainment complex that will include games, food, a go kart track, mini golf and laser tag. It's expected to open there next month. The developers are hoping that it will get people to visit the mall in a world that is full now of online shopping. And speaking of that next year tonight, it's a struggle that many malls have faced now for years and was only accelerated, of course, by the pandemic. Each of these points on the map here, this is a mall. These are malls that are undergoing some kind of transformation to try to get you back into the stores and all new here tonight. ABC Action News reporter Anthony Hill takes us here and shows you the new plans that are coming to the Sarasota Square Mall. Yeah, I do believe we're going to see more of these types of redevelopments. The Sarasota Square Mall is noticeably vacant and in need of a facelift. And that's exactly what one developer plans on doing. Torburn Partners is the developer that now owns the space, and they say as much as 500,000 square feet of retail stores, restaurants, and office space will replace the current mall, along with up to 1,200 apartments they say will be rented out at market rate. Redevelopment of those spaces makes sense because they're usually in urban areas or in areas where people are. Angela Granin is a commercial realtor, and she says these town center mixed use communities are becoming more common in the Bay Area. I think you've created a place where a person can basically walk out their front door, have everything that they typically need, office space um, right there at their fingertips. And of course, that's also good for them because they can walk to those. It's more walkable community living. And of course, that's more sustainable. Other examples in the Bay Area of malls currently being repurposed as mixed use spaces are Gulf View Square Mall in Port Ritchie and University Mall in Tampa. Both are currently undergoing renovations to add apartment buildings and retail shops to reinvigorate those communities. But building mixed use spaces has its challenges. When you when you create a mixed use development, you have a lot more moving parts involved because there are different types of developers. There'll be different architects. A lot of partnerships are usually involved as well. We still don't know when construction will start, but we do know that the development company has a few hoops to jump through before they can finally break ground. In Sarasota, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.